Yes, it is raining pretty heavily outside, and yes, it is so dark I need to turn on my bedroom light, but you know what? We're just gonna make it work. Hello everybody, my name is Jenna, and today I'm going to be doing a book review. The book I'm going to be reviewing is Whisper by Lynette Noni. So this book is the first book in a new series and follows subject 684, sometimes known as Jane Doe, who hasn't spoken in two and a half years. She has been locked away and experimented on by a facility called Lengard, and she is just now coming to learn what Lengard is and trying to discover all of its secrets. The book has so many twists and turns, really relatable characters, and it's just the most fun, and I feel like I have to speak so loudly because the rain is so loud! So this is going to be a spoiler free review, so if you haven't yet read Whisper, don't worry, you can watch the entirety of this video without being spoiled. Overall, I gave Whisper a 5 out of 5 stars. I think it is an incredible story. It has a lot of twists, a lot of turns, the characters are also likeable and relatable. When it comes to the plot, you sort of have an idea of what's going on and then you go, actually, I had zero idea of what's going on. So it's one of those books that really keeps you on your toes and it is just so much fun and a really easy one to get through. So when it comes to the writing style of this book, I have to say that that it is so different to Lynette's other series, The Majora Chronicles. Number one, this book is told in first person point of view, um, which is really good because you need to see a lot of Jane's internal dialogue because obviously she hasn't spoken in two and a half years, so somehow we need to get her thoughts across. And it's written so differently, but you can, you can see Lynette in there and it's still written in such a way that you fly through this book and you don't notice that you're almost finished until you're on chapter 32 or something and you're like, what? What is happening? So the writing style is something really casual, really easy, and it's a lot of fun to be able to get through it. The world building is really interesting in this one because obviously we are in this facility that Jane knows literally nothing about, but the world building still happens in such a way that it is very progressive and you sort of learn a little bit more as you go along. And the way that this world has been built is explained really, really well. You get to see a bit more of the world as the book goes on. I'm trying not to spoil anything because it's one of those books that you say the wrong thing and everything gets world so I'm not gonna say a lot but I'm just gonna say the world building was done really exceptionally well for a book like this. The characters are so much fun! Subject 684 manages to be one of the most likeable and relatable characters that I've ever had the pleasure of reading about. Even though she doesn't speak it's incredible that all of her internal thoughts I'm just with her I'm like yes girl yes I'm with you I know what you're talking about. So it's just one of those like really weird things that you just wouldn't think would happen and then does. She is especially makes me feel really empowered every time I'm reading the book. I think that's one of the main goals of this book is to make people feel empowered and Jane definitely does that for me. But also along with all of her secondary characters that we learn about and we get to meet as the book goes on, each and every one of them are so complex and have these really incredible intense backgrounds that I just absolutely fell in love with each and every one of them. They were so three-dimensional and I cannot wait to see what happens to them all in the sequel. This plot has more twists and turns than and a corn maze at Halloween. <laughs> I've used that every time I describe this book and I really like it. Basically you are reading this book and you're like what is happening and then it just keeps going and you're like I think I know what's going on and then like the book just goes you know what no you have no idea and they twist it on you and you're like oh. the characters are twisted and just like you have emotional whiplash reading this book because everything is happening so fast. The plot is a really simple one um, when you first get into the book and you first start it, it's literally about this girl, Subject 684, and the routine that she goes through, and one day that routine changes. And that sort of kickstarts a bunch of other events that eventually lead to the novel itself. And it's so good! One of the best things about it though is like the more you read it, the more questions you have. I've read it twice now when I have even more questions than I did the first time around. It's like I need answers to these questions right now. But of course the sequel isn't out yet, and I'm like, uh -huh, I just need the answers. It's one of those things where it's such an incredible world, this incredible concept that Linda's come up with that I'm just like, I just want to know everything about it. One of my favorite things about this novel is the fact that Lynn still has like the anti-feels. So a lot of YA novels will spend a large proportion of their time setting up the love interest between our main character and the love interests. And something I really love about this one is it doesn't really do that. There's like a tiny little bit of focus on it, but like, like hardly at all because Jane is learning so much about herself, learning so much about Lengard, learning so much about all of the people that she meets.
meets that she really doesn't have time for anything like that and if they made time for it I'd be like guys what are you doing lives are at risk here so it's just one of those things that I think is really realistic in this book I think it was a really realistic portrayal and that's something that I really really enjoyed out of this book so like I said overall I gave this book a five out of five stars I would definitely recommend it to anyone who wants to read about a kick-ass female protagonist who makes you feel empowered every step of the way because that is definitely Jane even when she is being pushed to breaking point and is being knocked down she always manages to get back up and it's just something really empowering that I absolutely love to read about thank you so much for watching let me know in the comment section below if you have read whisper and what you thought I would absolutely love to know if you like this video be sure to give it a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a thing stay random bye